today we're going to check out a new watch. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I just picked up this watch by AV8, and it stands for AV8. You know, like aviation, flyboy watches. Now, this is the AV8 Flyboy Lafayette Chronograph Quartz Watch in black. So it does come in some other colors here, but I like the standard traditional look of it. Now, the reason I picked this up, one, I'm going to be on the road here a little bit doing some work, and I wanted a watch that had a professional look. On top of that, it was going to be in less than ideal conditions environmentally. So we're going to be doing some, uh, you know, hardcore outdoor work, volunteering, that type of stuff. And I needed a watch that would be able to take abuse that I wasn't going to have to worry about if it would stop working. So I wanted something that was going to be durable, looked professional, and yet also wasn't making me worried all the time about breaking it or losing it or getting damage to the watch. And the last thing is that I wanted a nice looking watch that also wasn't going to intimidate anyone. And I didn't want to have a real blingy watch, something that might be a little more pompous or ostentatious. There's a vocab word for you. But look, I picked this up because it's a beautiful looking watch. The Aviate watches to me have been a really solid offering because they come at a really affordable price point and yet you get a lot of style and it's a pretty big company so they have a good reputation they offer a lot of different styles and designs so that you can find something that you want now this one isn't huge it's a 42 millimeter but it's kind of a traditional style a nice bracelet you can see the multi pieces uh to the links here it's got a really nice look almost rolex like you know with these really curved links the polished edges on there but obviously the brush finish along the top polished edges on the side here even the lug area in between here is filled in with this little filler piece we do have a deployment class which is actually a pretty nice deployment class but it's not one of the really inexpensive flimsy ones that are just stamped sheet metal this is a pretty nice clasp the outside here is a little bit more basic but this uh, deployment right in here is pretty nice so that's pretty awesome you can see that has some micro adjustment right there and then on the watch face itself, what you get is a really nice looking watch and a chronograph. So you can see here we have a red seconds hand, and that means that that will start the chronograph. And even though this is quartz, look at how small the movements are on that stopwatch hand. And then if I hit down here, flies back, snaps back to the 12 o'clock position. We've got a little white roundel down there, which is kind of a cool. It used to be on some airplanes. And then you can see up at the top here, we have some writing as well as the tachometer type of features around the outside. We just have a little bit of texturing on that dial right there. I do love those horizontal bars. It just gives it some nice reflection and there's some pretty decent depth to it. And the way I am flipping this watch around here, you can see that we have an anti-reflective coating on this curved crystal right up here too. So that's pretty nice. And this is a mineral crystal, so it should be nice and durable. This one has a lot of stuff, including these working subdials. So down here on the bottom, you can see the seconds hand ticking away there. So it's just really, really cool. You can see that it has a date window right here down at the four o'clock position. So you get a lot of complications. I love the Arabic numerals on there. They have a very old school world war ii vintage style to them something that i've seen on some of the old longines the avigation watches i think is what they called them so you get a little bit of that aviation history there too so just a lot of stuff i think that you get on this watch at a very very affordable price point if you want to pick this up you can get it with prime delivery on amazon which is where i picked mine up i'll put a link to it in the description below peter von panda out <laughs>